Always think safety first. Do not operate or work on your machine without reading and understanding the operator and installation manuals. Calibration of the spreader should be done at the beginning of every season when any major repairs have been done to the conveyor system or if there are any noticeable changes to the product itself. Product density and shape affects the way product flows, so a catch test should be performed with every product. When preparing for and conducting catch tests, safety is paramount. Always unplug the PWM valve for added safety to ensure spinners cannot be accidentally engaged. Move the spinner assembly forward to the number four position and always remove the rear plate of the material divider. Load material into the spreader hopper to perform tests. If your unit is equipped with a multiplier or multi-bin, load material into both hoppers as calibration will need to be completed for both of the front and rear hoppers using the same material. Place a suitable device under the spinner assembly to catch the dispensed material for a weight measurement. Now prime the conveyor. To do this, press product control, then the miscellaneous icon and enter a self-test speed. Once this is done, turn on the conveyor switch and run the conveyor until the spinners are full of material. Before starting the first catch test, dump any excess material that was captured. Measure the actual depth of material on the conveyor to be certain the actual measurement reflects the constant number that is programmed into the controller. Adjust gate opening as needed. Now press the product control icon at the bottom of the main screen. Then select the node you wish to calibrate. Remember to check the product density and enter it into the controller. Refer to the Testing Product Density video for more information. Now select Calibration Assistance. Once this is done, you are asked to verify that the density and spreader constant is correct. If everything is correct, press OK. If the information provided is incorrect, press Cancel. Enter the anticipated amount of material to dispense, then press the Begin Calibration button. Enter a start weight of zero and then press the dump product icon. Once this is done, a warning will appear saying the conveyor is about to run. Press OK to continue or cancel to end the calibration process. Now bring the engine RPM up to speed. Turn on the conveyor switch and tap the up arrow continuously until the conveyor starts. During the calibration, the dump speed icons can be used to increase or decrease the conveyor speed. The display will automatically stop the conveyor once the desired amount is achieved and will advance to the next screen. Once the conveyor stops, leave the material on the spinners and weigh the dispensed product. Now enter the weight of material caught in the end weight field and press the calculate icon. The controller will automatically perform the calculation and generate a new constant number. Press yes to apply the new spreader constant. Repeat the procedure to verify results. Also, repeat this process with the multiplier or multi-bin if equipped. Remember to perform a catch test with all products being applied. When you are satisfied with the test results, turn off the engine, plug in the PWM valve, and replace the material divider rear panel For more controller information, contact your local dealer.